Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Welcome to The Advocate, where we dissect, analyze, and put forward solutions to issues that matter to all of us. On today's edition, Sandra is asking, what's your 911? or go-to number in times of emergency. As a matter of emergency, Uche is looking to unlock the chains of mental slavery. That is assuming it only requires one key. Ekene is out to unlock the matter of our national identity and mission by crusading for a return of history lessons to our schools. Whilst Liberus sets out to give us a history lesson of his own, he says the iniquities of the past can only be reconciled by taking up where we left off on the matter of leadership. He is calling for an Igbo presidency come 2023. I want both a preservation of past and the laying of right foundations for the future in our practice of architecture. You could say our advocacies are both common sense and practical building blocks towards national development. I'll be laying the foundation after the break. Are the structures we erect not a reflection of how we perceive our nation's glory? Now, from Alex Ekweme to Namadi Sambo, two vice presidents who are or were architects, Nigeria is incredibly behind in architectural design, education, and history. In their time, neither helped make progressive narratives. Ekweme, as a practitioner in his earlier professional life, did make an impact with a number of his works. Sambo, never. Ekweme and his generation actually frittered away any goodwill or design progress they secured and the schools of design were left to deteriorate, <clears throat> as with all other areas of our education system. Today, very few architects share whatever knowledge they have. Many have even abandoned acquiring and improving their design knowledge. They hardly have an institute that could be the voice of the politics and administration of the profession. The best kinds of work are given out to foreign professionals by untrusting clients many who suffer from an inferiority complex, and some who truly want good building design. Affordable housing is fast becoming a pipe dream. Cities harbor increased numbers of slums. A lawyer has been in charge of the Ministry of Housing for the last five years. Buildings of merit are regularly bastardized instead of being marked as listed for their design significance. Take the National Museum in Onikon, Lagos. I dread the day a pompous architect of poor ability will sink his or her claws into it and desecrate the complex. The design destruction of Marina holds enough proof that I'm not far off the mark. It is time for a new way of doing things, and I put forward the following. If existing universities will not get their act together, it's time for new dedicated schools of design. Architects need to take design far more seriously, whether it is inspiration from the past this needs to happen fast. The Ministry of Works should be headed by an architect, assisted by another building industry professional. Quantity surveyors or cost consultants must tighten up as there really is no way that they will not be fingered in contract sum inflation and fixing. It is important that a small committee of engineers and surveyors assist ministerial work in the housing department. Then we need to list exemplary works of design and architecture and enforce that they cannot be demolished, but rather repaired and repurposed. Then more lawyers ought to learn building law and be familiar with the standard conditions of building contract. We cannot continue to live like a lost tribe. We need to protect, maintain, and renew our environment. No one will do it for us. 
Yeah, I like the fact that you've laid out your 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 thing with the proposition. So it's, okay. it actually looks like something people can enforce. But when you talk of dedicated schools of design, yeah. So I wanted to ask, how do you feel that will differ to universities? Because they, you know the failings. What are the failings of universities? Have we identified them? And how do you feel setting up new institutions will now rectify I can, that problem? I can I can guess okay. an answer to that. Okay. Um, in in studying law in the universities, you. After graduating from the university, you still go to the Nigerian Law School. Right. Yes, you have the basics in the university. There's also what we call advanced learning. Mm -hmm. And so the universities, in some cases, yes, might not be able to catch up as fast as the institutes who will maybe major speci specializations would be, or, you, you know. Because the university will be more interested in first and foremost laying foundation and then grooming to a certain state, the standards as you are there before you begin to take it from a, to advanced level. But those institutes, maybe one year, six months programs, will be major in designs, the new laws as regards building and the rest. And you know what's, what should be? Most developing countries have all of this, mm -hmm. but here okay, we just believe that of architecture. yes, yeah. every everything now has specialty. Mm -hmm. Everything, has, even no, plumbing. I, I was plumbing. To ask, you know, because he mentioned things that have, go towards the unity between architects. The fact that you know they don't get behind uh, the politics of they don't speak with one voice. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a failing of the individuals, if you like. That's so will that necessarily point. change if you set up new institutions? When it's within the university, the problem is that the university has a way of standardizing its standards okay. and it just doesn't fit for design that's why the most successful schools of design are on their own like Parsons or the architectural association in London basically schools of when you have a school of art or a school of design and you, you know many Chelsea school of art they work much better they've, they've got and if they're in a the university they've got to have semi-autonomy that problem existed when I was in university and they had to change the way the architecture department of UCL worked so that it could be almost, it was semi-autonomous okay. from, you know, even though it was still University of London, but they had to do it because it wasn't working for the course. Okay. They were basically destroying the school. Okay. The other so, only two points was really, I'm not sure I agree with you that we need to have an architect as the Minister of Housing and Works because it's broader than just architecture. It's uh, dealing with so many more things. And I, otherwise, you will now say that every ministry must have a specialist at the helm. And I'm not convinced. You just need a businessman who is ready to consult with architects, somebody who has a brain to solve problems. Be open to consultation. You see, the UK is different from Nigeria. In Nigeria, we have problems of seriousness at our work, of exposure and everything. Yeah. We are not yet at a we'll point where first. a lawyer like Fashola should be the Minister of Housing. We are not there yet. It you, should be an architect, you know, engineer, that, or somebody that, for now. We have, we, we, we've got to, you know, we don't have enough meat in that section to start bringing all sorts of other minds. You, you know, we look, at, we look at these things basically from an um, administrative point of view only. Only. Without actually looking at the meat. Feeling, the, the emotions. Feeling of it. And, and then, you know, what do you feel about giving house, people what, affordable house, housing? The the house, 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 house. housing is beyond just building, we exactly. acquire a large expansion, yeah, yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. and then we just want to yeah. build. Yeah. It's beyond that. What you can, from my per mm -hmm. perspective, I believe what he's saying is, also talks about design, mm -hmm. talking about proper planning, yes. new towns. Mm -hmm. You know, all of this, it's much more than what a lawyer can just see. Yeah. But what about the social about implications that are much more than a, an architect can? Oh, no, no, that's wrong. That's, see, why, that's, that's why you talk about that's, consultation yeah, as well. Exactly. So he can consult a lawyer who understands well, You think it's more social. about architecture? It's Housing more, and it's, works is more about what, architecture? No, no, no. It's more about, it's about planning, planning, see, planning it's and, about and planning. planning. Yeah. What, what it is is that there's, there's a lot of law in building. Notice I said that lawyers... It's, should, it's, it's, should it's shocking that, you know, so lawyer, you see lawyers that boast, I'm a petroleum lawyer, I'm a marine lawyer. Somebody should actually be boasting that he's a construction lawyer, mm, and okay. there's a lot for him to do there. Even now, we sign contracts one, and the there are no lawyers The only around. construction lawyers, no lawyers are around. Property. Property. Properties. That's, properties. That's, 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 property. that's, property. that's property law. You, you, you know. But construction itself, if I bring out the standard conditions of contract, you will see that it needs a lawyer. Yeah, we yeah, sign contracts with that lawyer. You see, Chuka, you see, right why now. we have all of this, okay, why we have all of this is because I do not see any reason why the houses in, in Ikoi should be given way to high rise. Mm -hmm. You can leave yeah, Ikoi the way. In the way, way you can leave the way okay. Ikoi is yeah. be, for history purpose. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then create a new town for those high rise. Yeah. And but a situation where 
you know, you're trying to now describe the way Koyi was to a, a young Impressive. child. He doesn't know. It's impossible. It's impossible. And, and, and so, you find that's where you go to Dubai, you say, old Dubai, yes, new, new Dubai. Dubai yeah. You know? But here, you believe that, yes, old Koyi has a big land, you just buy, and then mm -hmm. everybody gets approval. Yeah. All the is just all Once the you can made, pay the cost, not... you, you get approval. But we should, I, I understand from the point of view of less, because we are not where we should be. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we can't afford to just leave it in the hand of anybody. Exactly. It's like a plane taking off. When you get to that height where you can But you know, cruise, he also made the point, ironically, that it. both vice presidents that were architects didn't even make the impact. Just being no an impact. architect yeah. in they itself no will in not the mean country. that you do the You're necessary capable. thing. Yes. You right. need to be a thinking person. They left architecture into politics, and so they were not discussing mm. <laughs> Like, tell me fashion, and as a minister, I no longer talk, a talk lawyer, law. Right. Just, just, just also to add, you know, the place of the university, what the, the role of the university, and right. I think after the four walls of the university, what's left for you as an individual, right. you as an architect, what mm -hmm. are you going to do to develop yourself? Yeah. So you can, as much as possible, go out there to build your own, to improve your, your capacity on designs and not wait for the government to come do something for you for or you. something. So I think the individual well, architect... Do they have those well, schools in Nigeria to help you develop your capacity? You can, Isn't you that know, where you're looking we, for we those specialists? We don't, so we, don't, we don't right now. So, mm. Well, you, know, you can, also, you are, you can go out. Abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause <laughs> that's abroad, where everybody's going to. This is one topic I'll never tire of revisiting, mm. especially it as, it, as it's all around us. There'll be more, actually. <laughs> yes, yes I'm, not, I'm not yet done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after the break, Sandra is wondering when we'll tire of playing at emergency and actually get it right. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize. 